let's begin with the log file we said the log file is a type of file that stores the output of everything you have been running and the log file can always be accessed either from this icon log or you can go to file go to log begin log if you begin log it will ask you to save as let's say lesson one reminder and its extension is a dot smcl file so when you save that it will record that a log file as open so whatever you do here it will be recorded every output you are getting from here it will be recorded inside the log file and you can always be able to visualize later so let's say you perform the analysis thereafter this is your output you need to close your log file first so if you close the log file, it means that the log file has been saved so in that case if tomorrow you come around if tomorrow you come around and you'd want to open and see what was your output what was your analysis output then you can be able then to go to your data i want to look at our lesson one reminder if i open our lesson one reminder i should be able to visualize the output of the analysis i was performing earlier on so when i open that with the starter software in this case you see it has given me when i opened it all the output i was getting it is well available in here and at what time i stopped it that is the use of the log file or a dot smcl file a do file is a type of file that stores the commands you have run all the commands you have been running it is stores in there for example if this these are the commands i've been running i want to save this command so that when i come tomorrow or if i want to share with somebody what i did i just share with them my commands so what you do to highlight go to the part you want to start highlighting from hold on on the shift button use your arrow key to highlight copy come up here look for new do file editor click on new do file editor come here Control v to paste it will paste the codes that you have obtained from your starter software dating analysis so you can do some cleaning if you want if you want to add anything you can you, you can always do some cleaning in here but in case all the commands look okay and, and very neat in this case you can now save and on saving this do file this will only and only keep the commands you have run during your analysis and look at the file extension here it is a dot do file so when you save that like you have saved it let's say this is a new day so you loaded your data the same data that you are having and so you want to perform the same analysis of yesterday but you don't want to write the codes afresh what you will do you will just go to your folder where you stored your .do file so you look for your .do file lesson one reminder commands .do this is your .do open it all the commands are here now as long as your data set is now well loaded into the system there are things that you can do one you can copy you can highlight ctrl a highlight everything ctrl c copy everything go into the section that has the, your data set which is this one variable one variable two go to the command section paste all your codes press enter it's going to run all the analyses all at once if you look here on the left hand side look at what it did. all these codes have been run all at the same time this one on the left so a do file helps you to sort of automate future analyses you can share your code with someone else and they can be able to replicate whatever you did a dot dta file it is a type of file extension that stores the starter data set and so how do you save it in case this is your data set if i do br browse to see my data set this is my data set and you want to save this data set as a starter file you just come to save this blue icon or come to file on the top left corner come to save and then you can always save that file let's say lesson one trial trial and look at the default dot dta that is for a starter data now if you go to save it will only and st only store the data set it will not keep record of the output neither will it keep record of the command that's what you should remember so when you save it will have saved the data set so when you close this off 
and tomorrow you come around and you ask yourself I want to open the dataset I was working with yesterday so I will just come and look for lesson one trial trial data dot DTA double click to open it with the starter software and boom there it is it has opened the data set the same way it was yesterday but notice this it has not brought in any output you are having yesterday so that is what a .dta file does it does not keep any record of the commands neither does it keep record of the output so you need to always remember that